Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another photography walk video. This one takes place in Brooklyn, New York. If you haven't seen this type of video before, I take you along on my photo walk journey and show you the behind the scenes of how I capture the images. I will show the bad and the good, along with composition tips and shooting techniques. So for this photo walk, I decided to go to Domino Park at sunset. I haven't been to this park before, so I was excited to see what kind of images I could capture. As I start walking toward the park, I spot this cool building on the corner. I took a quick snap as a warm-up shot and made sure all my settings were dialed in. After crossing the street, I noticed people walking on this elevated path. In this shot, it would have been better if the people were further back in the white space, but I still really love the way that these industrial beams frame the shot with the soft gradient in the sky. In the same area, I noticed this guy standing by himself. I tapped him on my screen to select a focus point and quickly snapped the shot before he moved. This was an awesome image with the blue factory structure on the right and the person just breaks up this industrial feel of the whole image and it adds a focal point for the viewer. After entering the park, the first thing I saw was the skyline across the water. I took a shot of the Empire State Building and the warm light reflecting on the side was beautiful. Then on my left, I took a shot of the Williamsburg Bridge with the Freedom Tower in the background. This wasn't an amazing shot or anything, but it's nice to keep as a memory of this day. I want to get closer to the bridge to take a better image. As I kept walking, I noticed the light reflecting on the water. Besides the highlights, the water looked black and eerie. This shot was minimalistic, but it was still mysterious at the same time. There are just so many interesting textures from the ripples in the water. By now, the sun was really setting and some of the lights were starting to turn on. In the distance, I spot a canoe under the bridge. Now this was a pretty epic shot. The dark clouds in the background fill all of the white space and add drama to this image. Lastly, the tiny canoe in the water is perfect for a sense of scale. This canoe was really interesting, so I really wanted to get another shot, but facing the other way with the skyline in the background. This shot was also really cool, backlit with the fading light with the city in the distance. At this point, the sky was a beautiful gradient of warm oranges and cool blues. A few light clouds had drifted over to the buildings, and this made for a very cinematic shot. Now that I am finally closer to the bridge, I capture this image, with the bridge itself being used as the leading line into the center of the frame. This is a great example where you don't always need something in the foreground. You can use the main subject to lead the eye. Now it was really getting dark and you can see the pools of light casted onto the pathway. This guy in front of me stopped right at the light and I got lucky with this shot. If he was just one step back in the shade, the dark clothes would just blend into the background. But since he's in the light, he stands out with the contrast and this baddest 85 really creates a pleasing bokeh. This was pretty much the end of this walkway, so now I'm heading back the way I came. At this point, I'm switching lenses to the Tamron 17 to 28. This will give me a wide perspective and allow me to take some different looking shots that weren't possible with the 85. Of course, the first shot I had to take was a wide image of the skyline. No matter how many times I see it, the Empire State Building is just so iconic. On my right, there is a small taco stand with colorful signs and lights strung up. This first shot I took did not work at all. The frame was just too wide and too busy with a bunch of trees and no focal point for the viewer. I walked up a bit to try to get a different angle. Here you can see I used the aluminum trash can to cast reflections of those lights. I had to get really close and angle the camera up to get the right composition. Now this is a much better shot than the other one because your eyes are pulled right into the taco stand and there's some interesting light from the reflection. Past the stand, I turned the corner and I saw this cool lit up walkway under the blue industrial structures. I took this shot which was kind of interesting with the lights but it would have been much better if there was a person in the frame. So I decided to wait around 
And I call this technique fishing since I am waiting for someone to walk into the frame like a fisherman is waiting for something to catch. As you can see, I waited for quite a bit before I finally saw some people coming down this path. This second image I took is much more powerful than the empty one. The fact that both of these people had captain hats on really tied everything together and it even gave this image a story. I decided to go up the walkway myself to see what the view is like from up there. I spot this couple sitting on the bench by the street lamp. This made for a cinematic image with the night sky, lit buildings, and two small people in the frame. At this point, I had been shooting for about two hours and was getting tired, so I walked toward the exit of the park. Out on the street, I see the back of the taco stand from before. Now, I really like this shot because it gave me a, a small town vibe within this huge city. Again, it would have been much better if there was a person or two in the frame. I spot this woman walking towards the stand. Then out of the right side comes this guy in green. Again, I got really lucky with this shot. The two people made it even more interesting. And I love how the guy in green is in mid stride. This adds some movement into the still image. I kept walking down the street where my fiance was waiting to pick me up. I snapped some quick shots of my car because I really liked how the lights bounced off the asphalt and how empty the streets were. The head on shot was cool, but I wanted a more angled shot to show off more of the side of the car. So I walked over onto the grass and created this composition with the storefront and the neon light in the back. I really love the way this image came together and it was a great way to end the photo walk. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to support my channel. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Peace.